yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're the car that like goes off the ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the Joker's men drove that car. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of his Michael side Bay's like, I don't care as long as it's disposable. Yeah, get me 19 Matadors. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's the Smoking Tire Podcast. We got a big week this week. This week's episodes are brought to you by Off the Record. You know about Off the Record. I know about Off the Record. We all know about Off the Record. It is the place to go if you get nabbed by the police. No matter what your moving violation, big or small, Off the Record is here for you you. They will help you fight those tickets, keeping those points off your record. If you get a ticket, all you do is go to offtherecord.com slash TST or download that Off The Record app. Use code TST10 on the app. You'll get 10% off all your legal services with Off The Record. Then all you do is take a photo or a scan of your ticket, send it to Off The Record, and they will fight those tickets on your behalf. You don't have to do anything else, and their winning percentage is amazing. If they don't get those points off your record, you don't pay. Every single week, I get an email, a call, uh, a note from someone on Instagram that off the record saved their backsides and uh, got them out of those points. And no, those points are, they're real. They make your insurance go up. You could be denied for a, a car insurance or a loan. Uh, it's it, it, it follows you around. It's more than just that ticket. That's why you need off the record. Go to offtherecord.com slash TST or code TST10 on the Off the Record app for 10% off legal services from Off the Record. Do it now. All right, folks, I have been waiting for this show for over a year. Kevin Ryan and H. Foley, better known as the duo behind Are You Garbage, are in studio. AYG is my favorite podcast. These guys are hilarious. Uh, the stories are amazing. The format of the show is amazing. They're on the Stay Trashy tour right now. You can get tickets to see if they're coming to your city at areyougarbage.com. And today we've got them in studio with me and Zach talking about trashy car shit it's H. Foley and Kevin Ryan of Are You Garbage on the Smoke and Tire podcast. Kippy and Foley are in the house. That's yes, what we're sir. talking Thank about. You guys. Boys, Thank I you really Thank appreciate you, buddy. you making the time. Appreciate the you, show man. on Thursday was fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank um, you, man. I, you know, I, I've been listening to your show for almost two years, mm -hmm. and I've never heard a single one of you do stand-up before. Turns out you're all good at it. Thank oh, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even Toby's set was yeah. great. Toby killed, yeah. Yeah. That's what we were. I mean, we were comics for, you know, I mean, we've been comics for like 12 to 15 years or whatever. So yeah. it's like, that's our, yeah. that's how we made our bones. Yeah, you but know? none of that ever makes the uh, the Instagram clips. So when my, when my wife and, and his fiance who came were like, so what is the show? And I'm like, I think it's stand up uh -huh. with a little Q&A at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And that's what it was. And it was fucking great. Thank when we you. first started to go out on tour, we were like, do we do a live pod or what do we do? But, you know, we put so much time into becoming stand ups and it's like, that would be such a waste of waste opportunity. Yeah. Totally. So, and then at the end we do the, are you garbage back and forth with the crowd? Which is hilarious. Yeah, and it gives them a little taste of the show. Yeah. So I mean, and it also makes for great Instagram. It's, it's great 100%. clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. And, and, and you had the email submission, you know, so everyone in the audience. How many submissions did you get? Uh, in LA. It depends. Sometimes you get someone who's like super eager and they'll send in like oh. 55 emails themselves. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we typically get like... Maybe, I mean, I think that venue was like 500 people. We probably yeah. got like 100 and something. Yeah. And then um, I weed through them after I get all, after I perform, I run out. Oh, wow. Okay. So and then I, I pull the best, like, you know, 10 or 15 or whatever. There was, the the ones you chose, I was I was into. They were, you got, you he chose, does a good, you job chose with good that. ones. And, well, uh, and my fiance sent one in, and then she was like, oh, God, they talk to you and they get context. But then once you start reading the questions, I was like, you're very safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've had people normal. that, yeah. You're to, not like, even close. Bringing my new girlfriend to my ex's. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Some of the shit gets wild. That one was, Hers was yeah. like, have you ever had dinner after 8 o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you ever eat in bed? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there's uh, the, that one. Have you brought your girlfriend to it? Yeah, yeah. Do you bring your new girlfriend to the gender reveal party you're having with the baby of your 
ex girlfriend. Yeah, that's yeah. a fucking. So that's a lot happened in a couple of months. Layers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's Real a short death. timeline. <laughs> they had to break up, reconcile, not get back together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Agree to be friends. Yeah. Ooh, and still lot. show up with a uh, hoagie tray or something yeah. like that. <laughs> we had one uh, at Phoenix on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, whichever one it was. And uh, it was Is it garbage if your dad mm-hmm. buys oh, your yeah. brother's girlfriend? A set of fake tits for her, <laughs> for her graduation. Wow. So that's it. So graduation. I mean, oh. First off, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we go. Oh. We asked him. We we're like, what, what was she graduating? Oh, he no. didn't. He didn't get it. He's like, uh, it's something, whatever. And I'm like, no. What was she? What institution was she graduating from? High school. High, High school, school, dude. <laughs> High oh, school. How insane is that? That's we were like, gross. what the fuck? That guy's the biggest pervert. He That's just saw like a hot 18 so... year old. He's like, she needs bigger you know jobs. Yeah. You know what I mean? A little better. <laughs> Not build a bear, dude. Yeah, dude. That's what he was doing. So, I, you know, I grew up in Westchester, New York, uh-huh. and I went to like a rich, Jewy private school. Okay. Sure. Country day. I went to a country day. Gotcha. And a lot of girls. Got either the nose job sure. or, the t- or the upgrades uh-huh. yeah. as a high school graduation present. Really? It was, it, I don't want to say it was standard, but it was definitely not surprising. Not wild. Yeah. But happened. that feels like the girls are asking. This feels like. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, but nobody's yeah. boyfriend's not, dad was uh, doing no, no, no. that. Yeah. Are, we're, we're, we're on the same page here. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's it's fucking she, gnarly. Yeah. None of those girls were going home and saying, hey, by the way, Mr. Lowenstein offered to get me fake boobs. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, like, when we went, when the, judging by the crowd <laughs> at the show, at, at your show in L.A., mm-hmm. just as we walked in just before the doors opened, there's the line, and we're, I'm surveying the line, and first off, I went, I'm overdressed. <laughs> <laughs> you have sleeves on, you're overdressed. <laughs> and then I was like, there's a bunch of garbage. Yeah. <laughs> these these yeah, are some yeah, trash. Yeah. Your fans. Salt of the skew, earth, baby. Skew trashy. The sure. best. But it's also, like, we, we found that, uh, you know, well, they do obviously this huge trashy. It's we're trash. They might be hamming it up for the show, though. A little bit, maybe. But there's also like you get like straight, like crazy straight laced people. Where we're like, how the fuck does any of this connect <laughs> to you? Voyeurism? <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I for find sure. myself when I listen to your show. I mean, I imagine everybody does. Is they ask themselves the questions of course, that get yeah. asked. And I'm so disappointed at how not garbage I am <laughs> most of the time. Classy guy. I, yeah, I think I am. I'm uh-huh. not trying to brag. I'm actually, that sucks. I wish I was more <laughs> I wish I was more mud, trashy. Baby. Yeah. A lot of it's a connection from childhood, too, like yeah. uh, like a nostalgia. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, rich or poor, whatever. We all grew up with uh, certain things, same things that were trashy. Well, and there's like, there's there's not, it's not related to income. No, you, no, no, no not, not at all. all. Yeah. It's yeah. just human behavior. That's what's yeah, so Yeah, human behavior. It is. Yeah. Someone, you'll connect with some level of it at some point, whether it's somebody talks about a vacation they went on yeah. or where they Aunts, went uncles, shopping, yeah. Yeah, all that kind of Off stuff. Off-brand Pop-Tarts. I mean, it's, and like, just, I mean, I assume that if, for my audience, I've talked about you guys for fucking two years. Yeah, and thank I you. Hope, I hope we appreciate We do. We get so, I bumped oh, into yeah, somebody down in Austin. Oh, really? I was out front of uh, the Comedy Mothership smoking a cig, and he's like, holy shit, huge oh. fan. I'm like, oh, what are you, I'm like, are you from here? He's like, no, he's like, I'm in town doing a race car event in Austin. I was like, oh, oh shit, that's awesome. He's like, He's like, you guys got to do the smoking tire. Oh, I'm cool. like, it's already in the books, oh, baby. Yeah. We're nice. All right, I'm glad. Speak He's up. like, that's how he heard of us. Oh, cool. Excited oh, to be good. here, brother. I mean, we've been talking about you for a long time, and I'm like, I'm such a huge fan, but I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like you're so little has been innovated in the art of interviewing somebody. Thank you. And yeah. it's the first new, totally new interview format that I've heard maybe ever, wow. at least since Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Thanks, sure, man. Thank and that you. was that's now 10 years old Thanks. at this yeah. point. And it's just like, the fact that you guys call yourselves dumb and have yet, <laughs> and have come oh, up with- Oh, we're stupid. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the show. <laughs> uh, but also savants in certain ways. So like, <clears throat> do you- I know you started. He's called kind of Italian. A, What's going <laughs> on? I don't like that at all. I'm Irish. And also, I didn't like, come here to be dragged through the mud. The Philly vernacular oh, is yeah. the Forget funniest yeah. ver- of the vernaculars. Sure. The um, accent, the words. I learned a lot of new English words. Dude, sure. Yeah. Sure. And I went to college in Philly. I went to Penn. 
Oh, nice. And so 41st and Spruce represent. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. Shout out to it, baby. So when I, I, I felt so fucking at home, because even my like Ivy League ass friends that came from Philly, had, I was like, what is that word? What did you just fucking say? <laughs> sure. When you first said heater, I was like, I'm home. <laughs> Third heater in fucking 20 years. Smoke and, heater. Heater. I think, and I think you called a pound of LB, which I had LB, heard. LB, yeah. Heard <laughs> Shout out to the elbows. <laughs> fucking, yeah. The duffel shuffles. Uh-huh. Oh, God, but you I went loved, to Penn? I did. That's it's crazy. Your grades yeah. must have been good in high school. They were. Man. Yeah. Smart What'd you guy. major in? <laughs> okay. So, you know, Penn is the best <laughs> business school in the country. <laughs> yeah. Carburetors. Yeah. Let's go. The O'Reilly wing of the school. Art. <laughs> the Votech wing in Penn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's smoking cigs. Dude, art. I majored art. in art. No kidding. I went to the best business school in the country and majored in art. That's, That's sick, crazy. though. Yeah. Life hack. Man. They don't ask you that later. They get impressed by the pen oh. degree. And then, yeah. And then they At that know. point, you can lie, too. You have that degree. Yeah, it was so what did you study? Art history and stuff Photo- like that? Photography. Okay. But to get a fine art major, you did have to do all that shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So it was, and mainly what I did there was sell drugs. A lot of selling drugs. There you That's go. Yeah. So weed, mushrooms. Yeah. yeah so you made good. Yeah, 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 tank, <laughs> South Philly propane. No Oh shit, that's where my boy got them. hundred percent. That's Holy where the world shit. gets their nitrous. Yeah. Is it still open? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are they still uh, doing tanks South there? Do my buddy would go pick up a three footer and then Bro, just show up to the, the pregame the and we're like, what the fuck? I got kicked out of the tweeters. What's it called? Oh, now you're a dirtbag. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, I got kicked out of the. I got kicked out of the tweeter center for it? selling balloons. You're trash. Yeah. Dragging a life. tank through the parking lot. Damn, dude. I was there. I'm gonna go rescue that submarine. Didn't even have tickets. To the show, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that. Yeah, right. I grew, I would I went to college in '95. So '95, '96, I was at Widener University mm. in uh, Chester, yeah, right outside of Philly. And man, it was the dead was still torn, oh. fish was torn, and Pink every nitrous. couple of months, just a wave of the best of the best yeah. would roll in. And we were heavy into the nitrous at the time. Dude, we used to have tank Sundays. Yeah, at, at my house, <laughs> fucking, we'd yeah. be ripping through them. And that South Philly propane place. You just walked in, like, yeah, okay, it's a yeah. normal thing. Was, I think you have put to on have a lab now. coat and I'll hand it to you. Now. You need some sort of license. Yes, definitely. But my buddy's dad <laughs> owns something that, like, vaguely would need welding or something. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he do. I'm like, they're not suspicious that an 18 year old kid's rolling in and buying 15 tanks a month I, or whatever. I, I owned a dolly. That's yeah, how that, often I was that's there. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that, Holy uh, shit. Maybe I am garbage. Like, that's <laughs> awesome. Like, yeah. um, but I mean, what a place. To come from to fucking find these types of people. It is. It's hardy yeah. folks. It is. And it was one of those things, too, of like, we, we've said it before, but like, it, once we, we, we always play to ask each other these questions on the road trips, going to do comedy, whatever. And then like, we were just, he came up with the formula of it of like, well, we'll come up with 20 questions and we'll grade ourselves on the questions yeah. type thing. Uh, and then it just makes us like, we were, it was just so us. Like we weren't trying to do something. We're like, this is genuinely who we are. We are yeah. two dirtbags who judge other dirtbags. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Like, yeah. And that's kind of the same thing with the interview, which thank you for the compliment. But that really is just – that is because we're so dumb. The way that we ask the questions. Yeah. Like, as soon as you said pen, I was like, pen, oh, my God. What did you do? You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. just – that's the way we kind of communicate. Well, yeah, yeah we saw it on the live show. The, the number of yeah. you know, quick follow-ups Which is us asking have. stupid questions yeah, because we're idiots. Just two idiots just trying to be like, what's that cost? How'd you do that? Like, we walked in here. I'm like, what's the most expensive car in here? Yeah. Yeah. And where are the keys at? There's a few. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, this is a car show, so we should probably talk about cars a little yeah. bit. Yeah, oh, so buddy, go, of course. I, I'm going to go. So, you know. When I first when I when I bought the your are you garbage card game yeah mm-hmm. which was amazing and I pull it out at gatherings to play with friends thank you and thank you it. my wife's family as it turns out rich garbage <laughs> okay see, uh, see there you go doesn't garbage. matter right. income doesn't uh, matter yeah it does not but I uh, me and Zach and my wife immediately I'm pretty good at naming stuff mm-hmm. and I right away went. Car you garbage. Ah, That's yeah. Funny. Car yeah, you yeah, garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's the it's uh, the car themed expansion pack. There you mm-hmm. go. And over last Christmas break, and I wrote you a <laughs> yeah, note, yeah, yeah. and I go, I have a proposal for you. I want to make this expansion pack, and we'll do all the fucking legwork. <sighs> mm-hmm. We'll sell it, and we'll give you half the money because it's your IP. Talk about wetting a beef. And, uh, <laughs> get your taste. And so we yeah, came up with 130 car-themed garbage questions. The door locked when you walked which in. Which I hate. <laughs> yeah. 
But wow. and I wanna, I'm gonna. I, I think you're about to pull a check out of I, there. I, I, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, go get the well, check. So, we, we sold we sold ten thousand copies. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'd like to do it. I'm gonna pressure you into it by making <laughs> sure. you answer some questions. But first car, current car, dream car. Each of you. Cool. Let's. Uh, you can go. Yeah, we ju- ju- you just first. to preface this because I know I know a lot of car enthusiasts listen. We've just come to the conclusion over the last couple weeks on the show how little we know about we know cars. Anything. We okay. did like a, we did like a ten things you should every car owner should know. And yeah. I think we each knew three. Oh really? Okay. And I. Yeah. But after after three days at Indy, we thought we were fucking. <laughs> we we thought we were Henry Ford. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. My uh, my first car was a uh, 1980. Seven Chevy Spectrum, I believe, uh-huh. hatchback, yeah. uh, uh, manual shift, which was awesome. I learned how to drive stick in it, fucking just zipping around back and forth yeah. to high school. Um, that car- was your high school car. That was my high school car, okay. and then that was that was like a newish car at the time, right? No, I, I, this was so. I, I think I got it in ninety two or ninety three. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was yeah, so it. So five years old, that's not too bad. So that car, I'm pretty sure, was built uh, in partnership with Isuzu. Okay. I think that was uh, when Chevy owned Isuzu. I'm glad my dad didn't know that when he bought it. It really does have Isuzu Kippy. vibes. Yeah. I said, I'm glad my dad didn't know that when he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be turning over in his grave right now. <laughs> he was buying American, yeah. baby. Yeah. Um, it was the two-door or the four-door? It was the two door. I remember. Yeah. I, I just thought about it. I was such a dick. My dad's like, "I'm gonna go get you a car." Like, you know, that's a solid looking first car. I know, but when he pulled into the driveway with it and he got out, I was like, "That's it," because <laughs> I wanted like such some cool dick. car to fucking. You thought he had an I Rock? Yeah, something <laughs> rolling in. I mean, <laughs> I think he got it for like six hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, right, current, I, current car. Current car, uh, very big in the Foley family, is a Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. Okay. Great. 2022. Great yeah. car. Good love knock the, around car. Love Great the cha- car. Knock around car. <laughs> I fucking I balls on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got it parked here. What are you talking about? <laughs> Matt gave me a deal. Um, always been our favorite car. So the way we did it, uh, we were always lease people, uh-huh. my, my family. So my parents... Uh, the first car that we had as a family was a was a Ford Matador. Oh yeah, a seventies Ford Matador that we got from my grandmother when she, she went into a nursing home. We drove that as a family, I think, until like nineteen eighty five. Oh look at and that! And then we got that fucking brown one right there. This, that, this brown? holy shit! Woo! That's fucking it. <laughs> I with remember the, I, with the Landau roof. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, dude, I That's remember, a nice car though. I remember bawling my eyes out when we traded it in to get a, a Pontiac. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't a Grand Dam, but it was like a Pontiac LE six hundred or oh, something. Oh, the six thousand. Yeah, Pontiac six thousand. That became the Bonneville. Later. Yeah, that was yeah. our family oh, car. Shout out yeah. to the Bonneville. Fucking buttons on the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. That many a blunt cool. cruise in a Bonneville. <laughs> yeah. When we traded that in, when we traded that in and drove away in our new car, I was fucking losing it. Oh, because I loved it so much. Imagine loving that. Ah, I was a little <laughs> kid. It was my it was my grandmother's car. I feel you. I felt I like agree. we were leaving her at the dealership. I feel you. Yeah, you look like <laughs> maybe, the car that gets hit during a car chase in a. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're the car that like goes off the ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the Joker's men drove that car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of his Michael Bay is like, I don't care as long as it's disposable. <laughs> yeah, get me 19 Matadors. <laughs> but that's then, a real dragnet car. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. very. But then we switched over into uh, with Nissans. My mom loved the Nissan Maxima when they started getting popular in, in the, the 80s, in the late 80s, early 90s. That was a great car. Know those were from Japan. Yeah, he knew those <laughs> from Japan. <laughs> but they were a good deal. He talk had to take about, it. Talk about a car that was great. That you see none of none. left. They're all gone. Crazy. They yeah. were awesome. Yeah, they the, were. The, when they changed the bodies, like every couple of years, they improved them. They were yeah. always great. And my dad had a uh, Nissan SE V6 truck, which was sweet. Which oh, I got like to, a hard body. Which I got to drive on the yeah. weekends. It was pretty. It was pretty tight. Cool. And then we moved into uh, into Jeeps. Yeah. So they've always just leased le- leased Jeeps all the, all the way through. And we Grand love Cherokee's them. all right. That's great. a nice truck. And I got yeah, into a, a bad nice accident truck. when one, and it fucking saved my life. Nice. So I'm fucking. I'm all Jeep. All right. Dream car. <laughs> Dream car. Um, fifteen thousand patrons. What are we buying? <laughs> Twenty thousand patrons. I mean, I would buying? probably still be rolling around. I would just get like the newest version of a you know whatever Jeep Grand Cherokee. Right. Plus, they don't fuck up the front. 
Mm. You know, because they they've gotten silly mm. with the fronts of them sometimes. Yeah, wagoneer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like wagoneer, goofy. the wagoneer is no good. Yeah, I don't the wagoneer. Like... The wheels are too small for the body. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like a top heavy. It's got a little bit. Of, of, uh, I've never heard it put that way. That makes yeah. so much sense. And yeah. when they started off. doing that little bit of lower rent series, yeah. like um, oh, yeah, the compass and stuff. Yeah, I didn't like the front of them, but yeah. I did have a. I had a Jeep Latitude before I got this, and I fucking loved it. Yeah, Grand Cherokee is good. What That's about good. Trackhawk? You seen the Trackhawk? That's the, the Trackhawk is sweet. I was I was taking a peek at that. in it. Yeah. Let me it's, see the track. It's, it's, it looks just like a regular Grand Cherokee, like but that. like meatier. Yeah, it's got a little bl- got, got a little body to it. Hellcat motor, 700 okay. horsepower, three miles a gallon. That I could roll three around. Three miles a gallon. It's, I it's, mean, horrible. Geez. It is the most horribly inefficient thing, but it's a it's a hoot for a bit. Nice. Yeah. All right. Kibby, first car. My first car. It's a little comp. My first car, I had three of the same Chevy Lumina, 1996 Chevy Luminas. At once? Yeah. We, all, yeah. <laughs> Were they welded together into well, one Well, <laughs> my brother had one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had the white ones. My brother had one, so then... They got me the same one because they were like, we'll Look give you a thousand bucks for a car. And there was a thing with them where they used like galvanized steel and uh-huh. then the paint would chip off only on the white ones. <laughs> okay. So people would be like, this is so that's very that GM. Yeah. <laughs> so it was only that year and it was only the white, I uh-huh. believe. And so it was the paint, once it chipped, it would oh, just yeah. strip yeah. off. It catches the yeah, air. Yeah, and it's yeah. all, so people would call me and be like, dude, are you on fucking Street Road? Because <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm home. They're like, you I just saw your cars on Street Road because all the white women <laughs> is all had the strip paint. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that I crashed, the, my brother had one, and then they got me the same car, sorry. And then uh, they, uh, I crashed mine around a telephone pole, and I used my brother's. And then they replaced it with the same exact car. So I had three Chevy Luminas all in like a year and a half. That sucks, man. (laughs) Dude, they replaced it with, I was like, all right, cool. I'll get something pretty cool. Because like, dude, this was in 2005 I got this. So it was like, I was in 96. And the cars had changed bodies on. Like, that's such an old school car. Yeah, yeah. That that is a car out of a Steve Martin rom com oh, that he yeah, rents dude. at the airport yep. for yeah. sure. I had the head yeah. unit put in that was held in there with electrical tape because right. like, they didn't even like a, a new head unit couldn't even fit in that. You'd have to take yeah. off the whole. Dash. Did you guys? Did you put systems in your car at one point? Did I had a couple. Nice. I put. I couldn't afford it. I yeah. wanted to so bad. My buddy had like the JBL, the yeah. amps, and the subs, the twelves, the whole thing. But uh, I just put a new set of Pioneer six by nines in there, baby. <laughs> we would Canal Street. We would buy that shit hot for oh, sure. Really? Oh, yeah? The MTX fucking sub box, mm-hmm. the amps, we'd buy that shit in Chinatown. Definitely stolen, possibly fake. Fake, yeah. Possibly Doesn't fake. Doesn't matter, it's More, in there, who baby. Who cares? Yeah. It rattles the license. You put the sponge behind the mm-hmm. license plate, it stops we, the rattle. We always rolled the dice with the factory. Yeah. You know, whatever you got, you got. If you got a good stereo and the yeah. speakers were good, that was that was a bonus. But my dad really got sold on the Bose. Yeah. When they would hit you with oh, that. Oh, yeah, that was got a real that Bose system in there. That was the best. Actually, I mean, they <laughs> Bose did used to really engineer those. I like, know. For it's a crazy. while, yeah, and, but and now you can't you can't change anything. Yeah, you know, now it's all integrated and built in. It's so all you, it, yeah. So you got to pay for the. Upgrade. But every dad back then, I got the bows. Yeah. It's got Bose. the bows yeah. in it. Yeah, don't turn it all the way up. You'll blow the speakers. You know, the best the best part of our job is we get to test. We test new cars all the time. Mm-hmm. So we yeah. check out cars like library books. Like every week, we get a new car. That's Sick. awesome. And two weeks ago, I had a Bentley Flying Spur. No $360, way. Three hundred sixty thousand dollars, and it had a twelve thousand dollar name stereo in it. There was twenty two speakers and had two subwoofers. God Jesus, damn! It was fucking hot. There it is. And me doing the YouTuber oh, face. Oh, yeah, I saw that picture. Yeah. That's sick. Look, and they had the motorized hood ornament Love that, that rises out of the fucking hood. Oh, that shit is... That car had $95,000 in options on it. <laughs> it's more than my car. <laughs> more than, <laughs> it's yeah, more more than, than every almost car. every yeah. car. It's so crazy. That's sweet. Uh, yeah, it's the best. So that's sometimes we get cars that are not that cool, but, sure. but like, every once in a while. <laughs> Next time you're in LA, I'm gonna I'll set up a yeah, let's a, car a it thing up. and we can do a car review together. Yeah, I love, and, that. love that. And yeah. it'll be something really, really absurd. <laughs> That's awesome. I think that'll be fun. All right. Uh, what did what and when you guys were driving Luminas and uh, and uh, uh, Spectrums, mm-hmm. what were the like really rich kids that in your high school driving? The like, girls. What are the nicest student? 
car. What was that in the parking lot? Uh, yeah, we, I grew up in an, in an area that was pretty mixed as far as uh, income. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was like real nice townships, and uh-huh. there was some middle class townships, and then some some poor townships. So you really got the whole gamut. Uh, you had the new money kids that would roll in, uh, in like kind of like the IROC Z's kind of situation. Yeah. And then the the wealthy kids all had their mom's old. Mercedes. The hand-me-down Mercedes. So do you remember in the 90s when Mercedes kind of changed the body frame? Yeah. Like the newer Mercedes? Uh, Like, didn't they call it the Baby Benz? There was one, the Baby Benz. Like the 190E and the 300E. So the the moms got those, Mm -hmm. and then... The kids got the other ones. Yeah, my yeah. one boy had an old diesel. Yeah, like the my old... mom had one of them when it was new. It Those was things rad. were awesome, yeah. man, and they're very collectible. Too. Yeah, they were yeah. awesome. He rolled around in that, and my buddy who did really well was in a. He had his own baby Benz. Yeah, and that was actually the first car accident I ever got in. Was in one of those, and you were probably all right. And the cop said, "If you guys weren't in this car, you'd all be dead." <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it had like the crossbars yeah. and stuff like that. I had, there were. I definitely had friends in high school whose ha- parents hand me down cars, saved their lives. In sure, the kind of of accidents only 17 year olds yeah, yeah. yeah. teenage you see in like, like movies how yeah. did the car end up in a tree yeah, yeah. Shout, out, <laughs> shout out to the Volkswagen uh, the, Vol- the uh the Volvo wagon yeah. mm-hmm. so I had uh when I you know I said I went to this sort of ritzy school and when the Audi S4 came out you know like your night rich kids got A4s but when the S4 came out no one really knew what it was, and mm-hmm. the kids would convince their parents that the S stood for safety ah, or smart. something. Smart, awesome. When it was really like <laughs> one of the worst handling fast cars <laughs> ever made, and I had I knew six people that had these, and all six of them totaled them into stationary objects: Damn. walls, trees, Jersey barriers. You fucking That's name it. Damn. One of the worst handling fast cars ever built. So, wait, we didn't finish the game, though. Okay. You, I know your Kia was stolen. Kia was stolen. The Kia boys got the kid. I mean, I know you're doing a fucking stand-up routine, but uh-huh. how accurate is your bit on this car? It's a, it's, it's, that's a, just that's a, true a true story. story. Yeah, 100%. I, went, I showed up. The cops came and picked me up. They were like, it's around the corner, that's or wild. it's like a couple blocks away. We get in. We pull up, and sure as shit, my, there's, just, four, just there's four dudes doing drugs in my car. <laughs> And I, yeah, it was crazy. It was like out of a movie. They jumped out, all the guns, the whole nine yards. And then they go, the thing that I don't say in the, the joke is they were like, all right, it's your car now. <laughs> like they just fucking gave it back to they me. They left. I'm You're like, here. I don't want this. Four flat tires. <laughs> so I had your keys, crack. sir. <laughs> so it's literally the soup kitchen bit. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Someone, I did it the other night. Someone's like, soup kitchen. I'm like, yeah, they yeah. got me. Did you go, did you look in and did you learn at that moment what crack smells like? Yeah. It, dude, it was just, it smelled smell? so bad. It's actually dude. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> if you got some on you. As a garnish. It's not how it smells. It's how it tastes. Full flavored, if you know what I mean. coming back. <laughs> Sprinkle it on eggs, you know. I don't know what's in it. It's like MSG. <laughs> <laughs> Heightens the flavor. And so yeah. they just left you there with your with the well, car. Well, they gave me the car, but they I don't have I didn't have a key on me, and uh, they pull out <laughs> like, the USB they pull out the the column like yeah. the ignition column or yeah. whatever. Because you could steal these Kias. There's a big story about it with like a USB. You, had, you need a USB. Yeah. So, the, but yeah. they I mine. I'm such an idiot. When I got the car, I just started making a couple of bucks. But the only they would only give me the cheapest car possible. Like there was, Kia was the only person that would give me a car, yeah, a yeah. new car. So I got it, and I had to get like the most basic package. So I still had the key ignition. It wasn't the push to start. The push to start, you just need a USB charger. Yeah. The key ignition, but the column slides right out. And you just like put the you just literally you don't even have to hot like you don't have to crack anything. You just pop a little O ring, and it slides you, out, and then. There's like a little. It looks like a USB like female yeah, in there. Like a, yeah. And you just turn that with a fucking screwdriver or something. So I had a. Yeah. I had to start my car that way yes. to drive it away. The cops like, oh man, you're gonna have to steal your car you back. Know, I'm like, I'll fight you right one now. One of my questions: Have you ever used something other than a key to start your car? Set a needle nose pliers I had my in my question. trunk. Yeah. All right, check one for Kippy. Yeah. All right. Dude, he was so distraught about. It. He did not want this car back. I still haven't. Ha- I wait. Violated. I still haven't received the car. I still own it. I'm still making payments, and it's just at the dealership. And I just I'm going because it's going to be more for me to cancel the lease. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like it's like oh, a, I, I think my payment's like two hundred and five bucks a month or something like that. Yeah. So I'm like, it's going to be more for me to cancel the lease than to just continue fucking. Paying. And I can't. Yeah. Then so I'm like, I'm just going to continue to pay it out. Just keep. I just went and got a new car. This uh, class action lawsuit. I know. Thing. I think Bring I get like in, three grand can, or something. Yeah. I get maybe you back. can just go. I yeah. don't want the car. Let's just call it even. Yeah. Oh, I can do that now. Yeah. No, I, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if you can do that. I'm just saying like they're in so much trouble with this. They are. Yeah. That you should. 
shouldn't be you shouldn't have to pay for a car that was stolen with this because there's a lawsuit pending. Yeah, yeah. If I do know they will pay you. If you if it was recovered, I think you get like thirty nine hundred bucks back oh, or yeah, thirty four hundred right. bucks. Well, that should cover some of the lease. But right? they actually just called so you to steal a couple. It's a hundred forty four <laughs> month lease. Yeah. Well, I'll buy a lot of USB cables. Yeah. <laughs> so he just called me. He's like, dude, you're. He's like, it's like this is Kevin, right? He's like, yeah, this is fucking whatever. Steve from the dealership. He's like, we still have your car here. <laughs> he's like, there's a problem with Geico. I they can't find the claim number. I'm like, take your time, figure it out. <laughs> sure. I don't fucking want that thing back. So I I heard you got a new car though. Mm-hmm. Finally, after after Finally. they wouldn't lease you a Lincoln Aviator. Man, that was no, wow. it wasn't even the Aviator, it dude. Aviator? It was the Nautilus. Oh, Man, the Lincoln fuck. Escape. It was. They saw you coming, dude. It was the most embarrassing. They wanted moment eighty grand down <laughs> of my life. It was crazy. The Patreon people ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't just print out the patrons. <laughs> yeah. List. Well, they were. They, they did say he was like. No, he's like it's not your credit limit. He's like your credit score is what. He's like it's your auto credit. Oh, he's like you've only been approved for a ninth. Like your yeah. last car was a twelve thousand dollar car. Right, right, right. He's like n- n- no auto lender has trusted you yeah. with this amount of money. God damn it! So they wanted a crazy amount You're of like, money how, down. Without, how am I going to get the trust? He's like without he's like fucking... this is what drug dealers do. Like this is like he's like they, that's why they pay their cars in cash because yeah. they can't get they don't yeah. have the credit for the auto limit. Unless he was lying to me, I don't know. We but, have a friend who makes. YouTube videos and is very successful mm-hmm. about cars. I mean, really, really successful. And he literally went to the bank and got a loan for deep in the six figures by showing his fucking YouTube numbers. Really? That's funny. Yeah. That makes sense. I yeah. mean, that's like that's like business financials yeah. at this point. I mean, I'll, revenue, I'll, yeah. After the show, I'll tell you how much it was. Your eyes will fucking Jeez. go into the back of your head. And it was, by the way, it was for a salvaged car. Whoa! Because he was gonna fix it fix and it fix it for yeah. his show. That's but awesome. like, yeah, they gave damn. him a, a number, a that wild would buy number, a fucking house in most places in the God country. Damn! By showing his <laughs> analytics, just walking in is. with your YouTube plaque. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look how many retweets I got. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So how many retweets I got? <laughs> so I ended up, uh, I ended up getting a uh, used. Mercedes, okay, uh, GLB, I think the uh, smaller the SUV. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. Well, I some won't... say it's the German Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> um, I wanted something because I have a dog and I, I'm constantly driving the dog back and forth all yeah. these places, and he just fucks the car up. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I don't want to buy a new car, yeah. and then in three months be like, my dog fucking ruined it. So I'm yeah. like. And you know, in the, I'm like for the next four or five years, I'm like I'll buy this. It'll just be a yeah. not like well, I can You'll beat the shit out of it. it and, yeah. It doesn't matter. And then I'll get something and I'll give that to my wife. I got two friends here in LA who bought the two door Land Rover Defenders mm-hmm. and removed the back seat entirely. And their dogs. That's, that's yeah. It's just their that's dogs. Pretty, yeah, yeah, that's pretty two, cool. Two seat truck with the dog in the back. That's mm-hmm. a rich guy Fuck. move right there. That's Great Dane people. Yeah, oh, Great yeah. Dane, which is a rich guy. That's yeah. a rich guy dog. It's, a rich guy it's in dog. the name. It's great. Yeah. You got to have an LL Bean jacket on <laughs> if you're doing something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Arcteryx. Yeah, wear a, wear a raincoat. Mm. Oh man, that's fucking crazy though. You're just giving up on the Kia. That's yeah, funny. well then I actually Can just. You, why don't you like? He's superstitious. He doesn't no, like. No, no, but like someone was in the car. Fucking fan. I could give it to some. Oh, you could, that's pretty good. You could get content out of that. I could give it away. You got to take over the lease, though. I'm not paying No, but you can't <laughs> reassign the key. It does this thing where you can't you reassign, can't reassign the, the lease. Oh. Mm-hmm. So or, that's why I, I tried when I got my car. I was like, oh, I'll turn this in. And they were like, is it, Kia was it, doesn't. Was it actually, Kia and man, Hyundai, they're trying to lose Other money. Other than the cylinder, was it damaged? The windows were smashed. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. The um, heart was broken. I've been doing drugs in his baby. Um. But I do have my my wife's family is coming for she's from Germany so she's they're coming for like eight weeks and they're gonna <laughs> need a car so I'm just gonna <laughs> as they're them. fixing it now I'm just gonna give it to them so they have it yeah. to zip around. I think you're yeah, gonna yeah. try to bamboozle them and sell it to them. <laughs> <laughs> that better you're be Deutsche Mark. They don't want to export difference. this one back to <laughs> yeah. Germany. This is very rare over yeah. there. Turn the AC on though. The crack dust. I know. Yeah. The well, shit Get flies out at them. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So so I mean it was a big upgrade from a. Smashed out Kia, bombed oh, yeah. out Kia to a Mercedes. Yeah, which is the nice. first time I've really I I bought it sight unseen, never test drove it. My thing is like, where did you buy it from? Carvana. Yeah, <laughs> it was the only people because going out of business sale that, for them. That's what I'm, th- and I'm like, it's like a I think it's like one of those furniture I made a, stores. With he the pulled them out of it though. 
No. I thought they were starting to do good. Uh, they might. But the thing is, also, I don't know. They'll have to sell off that debt at some point, and yeah. I might be able to refi it a lower. Yeah. I might be able to negotiate. People keep sending me when they close a f- they close down. Uh-huh. They keep sending me the, the listings for the the All buildings. They go, you could. Uh, oh, like the yeah, for yeah, the, yeah, towers. the towers. They have that. The vending machine. The, the vending machine thing. They can That's only be used sweet. for that. They're. It's it's not spatially efficient. It's designed to be seen mm-hmm. from far away. It's right. sort of the opposite of what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, it's a billboard, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. I appreciate the sentiment, but it's not, it's <laughs> that's not pretty spatially cool. efficient. Yeah. That's the whole business model? That That's the dealership? They're just in those things? No, that's a, that's like a gimmick. That's just a marketing gimmick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so they don't you, actually come and take the cars out of you those? You can. Well, you can yeah, sign so up for that. So if you buy a car from them uh-huh. right off their lot or whatever, they have a regular fucking lot, too. Oh, okay. They'll put it in the thing. And they'll give you a, a quote, coin, a coin, and you put it in, and the robot brings it down. Ah, just give me the car. Yeah, so yeah, I had the uh, choice of that. <laughs> they can deliver it, or you can go get the coin yeah. and go pick it up. Yeah, yeah. If you ever stuck go to Japan, the pretzels. Have you guys been to Japan? No. no. I can't recommend it highly enough. The fucking parking they have over there, the robotic shit, puts car bombs to shame. Yeah. yeah. Crazy puzzle stacker, robotic, Damn. laser-guided fucking nuts. That's shit. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, so can I read you some of my? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. You can, we can, we can play, right? Love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, and I'm, we have 130. I've, I've marked maybe eight. Have you ever bought a set of used tires? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Most obvious. On a uh, big yes, Dodge tires. Ram, we would put them on for work, which was like the most dangerous thing. This thing was a <laughs> fucking shit box. Yeah. Things were real tight when I was in high school. My mom, God love her, was really good at if a tail light went out or if this. She had a junkyard close by. That she would, you know, I need this, and she'd come over, and we'd be out there in the, in the after school, fucking screwing them in, mm. always getting used shit. Okay, easy yes there. Is that it's very? What's the car? I mean, obviously it's trashy. It's wildly dangerous, I would presume too. Used tires can be used tires, tail lights yeah. and stuff. That's great. Like, yeah, pick and pull, yeah, that used makes tons parts of sense. is okay, but but tires can be dangerous. Yeah. Because tires can go, most people associate it, whether tires good or not with the amount of tread you can see. The, uh-huh. de- the depth of, you know, they stick the penny in there. Yeah, the yeah, depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But tires can also age out. Okay. The tire's only good for like five years, whether you drive on it or not. Okay. No and, kidding. Yeah. And start so cracking and stuff, right? The rubber yeah. dries out and starts cracking. So remember when Paul Walker died? Uh huh. Um, that car had original tires on it, and it was uh-huh. like, they were like 10 years old. And collectors keep the original tires on the car because they think it's, makes it more valuable somehow, yeah. which they're wrong. And so they went for a spin around the block, and those tires were like ice. Gave out. Yeah, just gone. No kidding. Yeah, that's how that's how Paul died. Damn. God yeah. damn. And Roger, not to diminish Roger. Of course. Uh, have you ever intentionally slash recreationally damaged a rental car? Uh, no. No. I'll definitely not give a shit about it. Yeah. I, I don't treat it as, you know, my car necessarily. I'm always too petrified that okay. they'll take, you know, my parents' house or something mm-hmm. like that. I don't know. I don't know. Take okay. our firstborn. Always petrified. I have. I'm scared times. bringing it back. <laughs> have you? Multiple times. You've so I've, you've went and rented a car. Yes. And just fucking beat the shit out of it. Yes. I've jumped. Did you get a, the I've, insurance I've ju- on it? Yes. I've jumped rental cars. I jumped. A, I've jumped a Mercury Jesus. Grand Grand Marquis probably five feet <laughs> off the ground. Once. God it's damn. Same Grand Marquis. Awesome. I fucking danced on the roof of it. And I fucked the roof up yeah. really bad, and I was so nervous when I brought it back. And when I went back to Hertz to check it back in, it might have been Hertz. Who the fuck knows? To check it, the lady who checked me in was like four foot she eight. I was like, see. thank fucking god, Damn, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah. And I had a car that didn't work right, and I fucking handbrake turned it into trash cans to like hit them like baseball bats. Oh, that's fun. Jesus. That was fun. Not recently. That's probably ten or fifteen. No years pushback ago. from the rental place. Nah, never. No kid, never. Uh, mm, that's good. To have know. you ever used anything mm. besides a key to start your car? We covered that. Needle nose pliers, baby. Have you ever purchased any accessories to make it easier to eat in your car? Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, yeah, that's coffee makers you really plug in. good. Huh? I don't think I have. But I love a trashy accessory. Yeah, I love I love the idea of it. I love being amazed by something I didn't know exists. I love that shit. The shit that you shove between your seats mm-hmm. to prevent French fries. Yeah, the stop block or whatever. That was a Shark Tank there. thing. Yeah, yeah. There's all uh, kinds of stuff. Oh man, it's portable yeah. portable saucepan. <laughs> <laughs> Got the gravy going for all your sauté needs. <laughs> yeah. Zach and I did a bit for a video where we drove 
the entire length of California from from Mexico to Oregon while running a slow cooker and making yeah. a brisket. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's fun. Good. Right, that probably we smells good. We did that again, and then I cook steak under the hood. Oh, yeah, we did a cooking did challenge. A cooking yeah. challenge. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, the other that worked. Did it come out right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the only cooking yeah. challenge I've ever beaten yeah. him in and will ever yeah. beat him in. But yeah, I, he did it. He made a good steak. It was all right. I love eating in the car. <laughs> it's my. It's, honestly, it's my favorite place to eat. Is it? Why in, is that? I don't know. Going to the drive-in, pulling in the parking lot, you're by yourself, put on something, you know, you're just listening to something and just sitting there going to town. Do you have, like, rules for when you get food to eat in the car? What do you mean? I mean, is there not necessarily rules? Me? No, no, not no, no rules, no. baby. No, no. <laughs> rules is the wrong, water is in the the wrong car. word. I meant <laughs> strategies. Yes. Yeah, of like of like how to do it. Yeah, I, yeah, I got pretty good how to how to eat fast food and drive. Yeah, yeah, like how to unwrap the burger and, yeah. and not miss a beat. Maximum efficiency. Yeah, and I'm talking. I'm not talking just burgers. I'm talking Dunkin' McNuggets <laughs> and not spilling a drop. Yeah. Uh, Don't they have sauce holders? I think you can get yeah. for the oh, cup holder, yeah. like or like they the clip fry, on the fry holder. The fry yeah. holder. Yeah. Really, the, that's really the, smart. Yeah. It's a fry holder within a side holster. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I like it. That's what I'm like. Trash. I see that. I'm like, oh, that's great. Holy I love shit. the. You get. You can get a. I'll I love the innovation. Yeah. You can get a sauce holder that clips into the vent. I didn't know this existed. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Ooh. That's, yeah. <laughs> and then you got the that's AC all on right, and the whole dude. car smells like barbecue yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. And they probably have different colored holsters to match the, the McDonald's sauce. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and then you can keep the sauce warm. Yeah, I it's love cold it. Out. I love that. That's innovation. That's yeah. America, baby. This is yeah. what NASA's for. You know? Oh wait, I have a question for you. Since I'm the, with the air vents, because yeah. we talk about how. The trashiest air freshener is the one that goes into the in. vents. Oh, yeah. Any of the cars that, that you have or that, that you have here, do any of those people have air fresheners in those if cars? If they do, I take them out and throw them in the garbage. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any in any of your cars? No. Nothing. I used to when I smoked cigarettes. Okay. That was smoking in the car is yeah. the number one need for an air freshener. Okay. When I quit cigarettes, I abandoned the need mm -hmm. for air fresheners. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Don't get me wrong. I miss cigarettes every single Shout out to the day of my life. Every day. So huh. rich people don't use air, air freshener. No. Huh. We also wash the cars here every time they go out. Okay. So we're there's these guys are washing the cars every Keeping time. Fresh. What do you got? Yeah. The ionizer? What do you guys use? We got everything. Oh, if you had to put something in there, what would it be though? My move was always to get the tree, but throw it under the seat. And do you, I respect do you that. keep taking it all the way out or do you just open because no. that's the that's the Qu quarter thing. Quarter inch at a time. Really? Yeah, that's Leave the, the actual instruction. No, I always rip that thing right Bro, off. You no. Over where you're gonna you're gonna get lightheaded. Dude, I love that. <laughs> pulling out of the pulling out of the car wash with a little black ice pumping. Zach and I went to fucking Panama once to, mm -hmm. to make videos, the country, not the city, and we rented a Ford Ranger, and it's it smelled like mold in there. It was fucked up. Damn. And we were buying air fresheners. We were buying bags of coffee and dumping the Smart. coffee grounds well, that, that was a trashy air. move now I think about it because we would take the coffee that they give you in the hotel. You know, they're like, here's the coffee that was made 30 years ago. It's sure, that you never room. touch. Yeah. yeah, We would take that, cut it open, and just dump it. On the floor of the truck and yeah. on the seats because it smelled so nice. You got to do yeah. what you got to do. That meant smart, though. That's I, innovation. I ended up getting a black mold infection in my lungs oh, from that Christ. Yeah, God, it was fucked damn. up. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, the truck was, flood was like flooded and then yeah. recovered and not cleaned. Damn. Uh, speaking of rental cars, have you ever passed off a rental car as your own to impress somebody? <laughs> no. No. But, well, That's no. the high school reunion move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, sure, right. sure. Uh, Hiring a hooker and a fucking get a Ferrari? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, have you ever used another car's license plate on your car? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are we, fucking bootleggers? <laughs> I, don't know. I had, my family has dealer plates, yes. so I would use those, uh, in jam-ups. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. That's actually, I think that's, that's classy, actually. Dealer plates? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a legal, legal abuses of the system sure. is class, actually. I forget how I he, My mom leaned on, uh, her handicap plates that she got from my dad, a little too long after he had passed. <laughs> she, she was stressed. Less than a year. Okay. okay. But it got right. to the point where my niece and nephew were like, yo, you can't be rolling into school to pick us up and fucking whipping into the front yeah. and then hopping out like a spring chicken, She's yeah. flicking a heater butt and then picking yeah. us up. Uh, up this is size. <laughs> yeah, dude, right in the front. Uh, this we won't get apply rid of to the, the GLB or the Grand Cherokee, but let's go with past tense. Have you ever had to uh, make a list uh, for someone borrowing your car for how to operate it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a Honda Accord that was like that. What And what did, the, what did you have to do to drive it that was not turn the key and put it in 
Yeah. You could if you don't put down the window because if you put down the window, you're not going to be able to get it back up. Um, ah, there was something else. I think it was you couldn't turn the heat on. You couldn't have the heat and like the blinker going for some reason. <laughs> the, <laughs> blink, the blinker would stop if the heat was on and you flicked it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't stay like what engaged. Juice That's yeah. hilarious. Those are something. very are much unrelated draw. systems. Yeah, <laughs> real trashy. Yeah. Right before I got rid of that, I don't know what was wrong with it. But I drove from Westchester, PA, to my, my parents' house. It was like maybe like a 30-minute drive. And when I pulled into my parents' driveway, I think it was the transmission was glowing red. Hot. <laughs> like uh, you could see a glow underneath No, when you the opened car. the hood, it was glow. Like it was, it was something was burning. Oh, wow. And I was like, ah, this is done. Stakes are done. I do, I do have one here somewhere that I did that says, has, has any of your cars ever been on fire? That's the closest mine's ever been. That's glowing is close. glowing's close. Glowing's that's close. that's coals. Yeah, I uh, had one. You might know. There, was there a thing? There was a thing with Mercury Lincoln shifters. Uh huh. Did you know that they would get? It was like a pretty bad recall because my dad had a navigator, an aviator. Yeah. And he got it wouldn't shift out of park. Okay. Once it was in park, it wouldn't shift out. And anytime I would have to give my car, I had a Mercury Montego. Oh yeah. And it started the, the shifter. Kept, that's the Mercury Escape. Yes. It's a Ford Escape with Mercury shit on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I had the Mountaineer, which was the Explorer. I, lo- I loved the Mountaineer. That was my Philly car. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Loved the Mountaineer. That's what I wanted, Philly. the Mountaineer, but I got the Montego. Philly is a really hard city on cars. Yeah, it's brutal. The roads will fucking it's... just wreck, mm-hmm. wreck your car. Potholes everywhere. That 17th century cobblestone. Yeah, just drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only Mercury I ever liked was the Cougar. Oh, yeah. I, I got to bring that back. The Bobby Bacala mobile. <laughs> he, he whipped around at one of those. He did. All right. He had the 80s one. Yeah, there, he had right? the sweet one. The square back. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the newer one, the one I know. Was the Ford Probe based. The Cougar. little two door with yeah. the hatch, the big yeah. hatch that came up in the yeah. back. That thing. Yeah, they were whack. That was for strippers and no, whores. <laughs> the Sopranos <laughs> one is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was one. really what was up. Uh, I, I, got, I remember one. Uh, have you ever used anything from a hardware store to repair your car? I would the paint tape. I would use yep. spray paint. Yeah, red paint or uh, red tape on the tail light mm-hmm. if it was cracked. There yeah. you go. For sure. Uh, have you ever had to turn off the air conditioning to make it up a hill? Yes. Yeah, and turn the air conditioner off in traffic. Yeah. I would have used to have to have the heat on so it didn't overheat. Oh yeah. That was big in the Luminas. Yeah. So we overheat had so to we get cooking. Dude, you coming right off from, the engine? Dude, what? You're, the, so it's the air coming right off well, the if engine. You were, yeah, if you were driving, that's how, heat, that's like, how it does. Works. That's where it comes yeah, from. Yeah, it takes heat, heat blows it over the engine. Uses the heat from your engine to turn it into cabin heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Yeah, there's some a, a thing called a heater core that, huh. that turn that's behind your dashboard that turns actually the the coolant runs through it. It's like the opposite of a of a air conditioner. Yeah. Damn. And it runs the hot There's thing. a little heater in here. Yeah. <laughs> in an electric car there is. Electric cars fake they fake. Ah, uh, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, yeah. But with a gas that. engine you got a heat source right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, that could be see that depending on the car, the heat could be classy or trashy cuz like if you were driving a 1978 Ferrari, uh-huh. uh, you'd have to do the same thing. Yeah. But your car would be worth a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine was worth about 600 bucks at <laughs> right, the time. Right. Uh, have you ever improvised a gas can? Yes, yeah. Yes. Wawa iced tea bottle or yes. Wawa iced tea uh, half gallon for sure. That extra thick yeah. plastic. Uh, yeah, I always <laughs> thought it was too dangerous. No, the Aquafina water bottle is big enough you can get the nozzle in there. Really? Uh, yeah. Very yeah. smart. Yeah. Well, I've also cut the top off of Aquafina bottle and flipped it and used it as a funnel. Oh, yeah. That's a good ah, one, too. Yeah. That's very smart. Move. Improvised funnel. I like that. That's good. Oh, but you just made me miss Wawa tuna subs. <laughs> so Ooh, fucking bad by saying the tuna that. subs all right at Wawa. Man, I fucking lived at yeah. that Wawa at fucking 39th in and Chestnut Spruce. or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know I what know you're it. talking about. That was like the most armed robberies <laughs> ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's one of the ones that they closed down. Down, they closed out. Oh, they they closed yeah. out a bunch in the city. Wawa because they were just, just getting robbed. Getting my, raided. My bank. It was a uh, Commerce Bank at 39th and Walnut. Commerce was the most bank. robbed bank in the country <laughs> uh-huh. while I was there. <laughs> they had that on the sign yeah. out front. <laughs> Number one. Can yeah. give it a thumbs Damn. up? I, I love Commerce Bank though. It's fucking. I great. was a Commerce Bank man myself. Me too. Yeah. yeah. And I was stuck with it when the, it became they went TD. To TD. Me too. Yeah. I'm with TD is right Touchdown now. Bank. You Touchdown kidding? Bank. Yeah. Or they always go for two. Uh, have you ever had to pull over? Pick to pick up a piece of your car, oh. hubcap, hubcaps. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a family thing, in a family car. I can't remember what it was. 
but it went rolling somewhere, and I think my brother got it. My dad's like, go get that thing, and he ran out and grabbed it. It was like on the turnpike, too. It was dangerous. We were just talking about my brother had a red Grand Cherokee, like the big, the boxy one, yeah. like the nine. I don't even know what year it was. 90s one. Nine, yeah, early 90s one, red, and we were like driving around high as shit, and my stepdad was a big car guy. My stepdad uh, built and drove stock cars. Oh, cool. So, um... Anytime we had an issue with a car, it was him. Like, he just took care of the cars. But in a real, you know, cowboy kind of like, you know, all, all, always on the cheap. Sure. So, dude, I don't know what happened with the car, but then he he went under it. We are high as shit. And we called him to come because it, like, stopped driving. And he, I think it was the, the drive shaft we determined. He took it off. And then he's like, just keep it in front wheel drive or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we were like, yeah. he's like, you're a, dude, he comes out with it on his shoulder. He's like, you're good. We're like, like Schwarzenegger in yeah. Commando. <laughs> we're like, that, you're going to, I don't know anything about cars, but I think we need that to fucking get home. But did you? No. Yeah. No, he's like, just don't. leave it in front wheel drive and yeah, you're you fine. Can, right? We were yeah. like, what you could the do that. fuck? Yeah. How long was the drive shaft off that car? I don't know if it ever went back on that car, if I'm being honest with you. No. I think it's still in the it's garage. The rare front wheel drive only <laughs> Grand Cherokee. <laughs> I once, so I, I had a Corvette, and uh, I was at a car show by Teterboro Airport once, mm-hmm. and it started to, like, rain a little bit, and I, I like to drive with the with the, the, the T-top off. Sure. And so I took it, I had it off, and it started to rain. It ran over and threw it on the car, but I forgot to latch it. Yikes. Yikes. And when I went to go leave, hit the turnpike, <sighs> going north, <sighs> no fucking shit. ejector, and it went 150 feet in the air. <sighs> And God. at like 80 miles an hour uh. and landed behind me and just slid and I fucking into the shoulder and ran back and got it. Damn. And it actually wasn't that damn. Really? Holy yeah, shit. And I put it back on the car. Never even fixed it. Just kept it like that. Just kept no it like kidding. that. Yeah. Lucky. I mean, like could have easily killed somebody. Yeah. Of 100%. Course. Of like course. projectile frisbee with sharp ends. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. see the videos where the tires come off. Ooh, well, did you yeah. see the one recently with the where the car, where it jumped it? Yeah. Dude, that's so <laughs> fucked really up. Scary. Yeah. That was like a regular tire too. It wasn't even yeah. like a like a tractor trailer tire. Yeah. yeah. I nuts. hate seeing those things all over the road. The the treads from well, the tractor Well, they retread trailer. those, right? Retreads are yeah, That's crazy. They usually that only do it insane. on the trailers. Gotcha. Right? But Mm, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. That seems so wild to me. As someone who doesn't know anything about it, I'm like, that no. doesn't seem safe. Yeah. Have you ever left a top down on a convertible and it rained? Yes. I did that to my mom's Sebring. Oh, and you left it parked somewhere and parked it Parked out front all oh. night. Oh, just came no. out. But they, I, that's when we found out they have drains in them. Yeah. For that reason. Yeah. yeah. Like Jeeps and stuff, you can you could hose them. Yeah, straight right. Up. I've yeah, done yeah. that multiple times in my parents in high school where I left one window down oh. in their car. Man. Fucking freak out. Yeah, me and my buddy used to run a car wash in in Harrison, New York, back in the day. And uh-huh. We had a client who had a suburban and parked it outside with the sunroof open. He oh. went out town for a month. God damn. Every, Holy shit, every surface of the car was mold about an inch thick. Ooh. It was fucked up. Yeah, because no sun's getting in there or anything. Dude, it's just it was just stewing. We were it was hazmat it was suits to clean the car. We Man. we actually cleaned it, but it was fucked up. Yeah. Favorite job as a kid was uh, the summer I worked at a car wash. Yeah, loved it. What were you doing at the car wash? Just drying at the end. Yeah. you know what I mean, or work in the beginning and send people through. Yeah, I don't know why. It was just everything was clean. I loved to smell all the chemicals. You know, the cars that come out all nice. You buff it down. The dips were great. You could do it high as shit. Yeah, don't matter. Yeah, it was yeah. all right. Yeah, good time. Well, I, when we ran, when we had that car wash, I spent a lot of my time physically washing cars, and love, it wasn't bad. Love a car wash. Yeah, the walk in, the looking at the stuff, the snacks, all the air the fresheners. Store at the store attached to the car wash is, is all always right. Really interesting. I yeah, love it. Right. It's one of my favorite. The Store is my favorite thing. That's why I love seeing all the accessories. Do I need this? Can I yeah. put that in? Bar- always a the, one right, the one right here has an amazing store really? attached to it. Yeah. This gas station right here, this guy's a genius because they opened an Amazon distribution place right behind. Mm-hmm. And so every hour, like a hundred gray vans come out of there no and go kidding. straight to this gas station. Right away. And they fucking raise their gas prices like a dollar fifty a gallon. Like fuck Bezos, dude. I'm taking some of that Damn. money. There you go. And so we don't get gas there anymore. <laughs> they Respect the hustle. They got a car wash with a nice store. Uh, we got. Do we have a bunch from fans as well? Mm-hmm. Some, All right. Yeah. Screen for goodness, please. Uh, has your <laughs> car ever caused a traffic jam? Whoa, <laughs> that's good. Um, I'm selling them on the card game here. I think the expansion right. pack is really is coming together. Car, I'm sure I've had to. I can't think. I've never had any real serious breakdown anywhere. Well, that's good. Yeah, I stalled out. A couple. I I would get nervous 
in a manual transmission on a hill. Right. I would get nervous. I don't really count. I, I, the, the spirit of the question wasn't to count that, but okay. I feel you. Go on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, w- I would f- pop the clutch or, you know, I would yeah. fuck it up and it, it would die. Yeah. And then I would freak out that I was going to roll back into the other My thing. wife's fear of that has kept her from driving stick in any of my cars, even though she is otherwise 100% competent at driving a manual transmission. Gotcha. It's it is bummer. so much better. We were, I was just in Greece and everybody had manual transmissions. It's the best. It's fucking awesome, Yeah. Dude. Small cars with sticks. Yeah. I fucking love it. Uh, last one of mine. I mean, I have a lot more, but I'm, I'll abandon this concept. Have you ever had to apologize uh, to a passenger for a smell or sound? Oh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Until recently. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some so, old fucking McNuggets and stuff underneath yeah. the seat. Yeah. yeah, I had a French vanilla cappuccino from Wawa that I didn't realize, like, was it still some in the cup? I put the cup down, and it got under the seat, oh. and that dairy or whatever oh. was in there, dude, bacon. And oh. I did, I parked my car for like a week, I think we were on vacation, I came back, couldn't get it out. Yeah. Just, it's, it's just in there. Yeah. Guys with kids. My buddy has like a Honda Odyssey uh-huh. that he's had, and when the kids were little, and the two seats were in the back, and he'd be like, I'll pick you up. Dude, it would just smell like old milk in there. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck, man? Yeah. When we had that car wash, same same thing back in the day, someone with an Audi left a tub of seafood chowder in the uh, takeout. Uh, like, leftovers from the restaurant for, like, a, a, uh, a couple weeks. Too long. And the car was totaled. Literally. Really? Wow. It was, like, a, like a low-mile, 50000 dollar Audi, and it was totaled from the smell. No kidding. Insurance totaled it out, wrote a check. We could not. We you took the couldn't whole, clean took it. the whole interior apart. Nope. Couldn't do it. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was fucked up. Yeah. Jesus. From a fucking a bowl of soup like this. See, I mean, seafood and cream That's nuts. together. Oh. Just like. In a week? Yeah. I'm Never surprised there wasn't hour. like a fucking family of turtles in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, a couple those. of snappers. <laughs> so gross. Uh, I think uh, we got. How out, was the yeah. Indy 500? The Indy 500, 500 was sick. The we, coolest experience we, yeah. I've ever How been. did you, I mean, are you guys fans of racing? Why did you go? Uh, we were looking, we were doing it for the Patreon. We do like, you know, we'll try to hit a goal of like something that's like fun and trashy and, you know, you know, just something like an experience type thing. And everybody was like, the Indy is like, yeah. the coke lot at the Indy 500 is the trash of all trash. Yeah. So we're like, all right, let's do it. And then someone we know works there like he's like head of like vip fan experience shout out to louisa and she was like i gotcha whatever you want to do i can get you in call like so we i did two laps around do you know remember who was driving i don't because they don't they they treat it like it's like a shuttle but you stand there there they got it you don't even say hi to them like they pull up (laughs) silent racing driver. yeah did um, you almost shit your pants it was one of the scariest things. I th- we did like up close to two hundred or something. Yeah. They were saying, and this is in the two seat indie car. The two seat indie car. Right, right, um, right. And you don't. Really, I'm like I panic. I'm a control. I don't even like him driving. Let alone you know at like. I don't like him driving in. Luckily, a I couldn't fit, so I got to <laughs> yeah, avoid all that. Um, I've been there. <laughs> But, dude, it's nuts. I Like, at that speed, I've never... I didn't know how to comprehend it. Yeah. Like, my body started panicking. And yeah. I'm like, dude, you hit that turn. You feel like you're just going to fly into the stands. Yeah. Like, you feel like... You're like, everything I know about physics, yeah. this is not Down right. Downforce is a crazy thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I kept just going, man, uh, the smartest people make these cars. They're engineered. This is good. this guy driving is the best <laughs> at what he does. this is the one they're putting randoms in. Yes. It's not like the ones Exactly. So I'm like, I'm like just it. banking on engineering and physics yeah. and this yeah, driver's yeah, yeah. skills. Yeah. But, like, had to talk myself out. And then they did. They told me right as I was getting in, they were like, hey, your head might start wobbling if the airflow gets <laughs> under <laughs> your chin. Just tuck your chin down. They're yeah. like, it's going to feel like your head's going to fall it off. It wants like, to tear what? the helmet off. Yeah. Your head. yeah dude, yeah, yeah. I, there's, we have video of it. My head starts <laughs> fucking wobbling, dude. I for fucking That's tucked rad. it down. It was dude. a very interesting mix of, like, you know, elite engineering. Uh-huh. Super, super amounts of wealth yeah. and just complete garbage. Yeah, yeah. That's just racing. all perfectly yeah. all my mixed stepdad, in together. Yeah. And a little slice of fucking Americana, yeah. I'll tell you that. Because when that uh, Jewel did the national anthem, uh-huh. she killed it. And then the out, of, out of nowhere, two F 16s came in real low, like right over the fucking yeah. uh, uh, the racetrack, 
real low and slow as she was finishing up. Time and then right. two yeah. seconds later, six came in hot, fucking east <laughs> oh. to west. Oh, Just they gave <laughs> you the double. It's like a double bounce dude. on a trampoline. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Hit. Popped it. Yeah, we were ready to you. fucking join the Marines after that. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's the cars, they all fired up. and near, 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 near. It was It's a crazy thing. thing to watch, ah, right? It's, it's fucking wild, beautiful. Yeah. But that combination of, like, I mean, dude, like you said, so, great. so rich. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the captains of the universe. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> yeehaw. Because yeah, we got yeah, to go yeah. up in the, what was it called? The pagoda? The paddock? The yeah, whatever, the like, paddock suites. Or yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, it's uh, tag, you know, the big tag hewer. It's got, like, sure. the green windows. And the, we were on the, I think, on the pen, we were in the Pennzoil suite. Cool. Yeah, like, the and top level And it's just, level like, holy shit. Going it was to those awesome. races with access is yeah, real cool. Yeah, it was very uh-huh. cool. We got to walk around and see the garages and stuff like that. The drivers just seem like... Like when you sit down and like when you're when it's in front of you and you see how fast they're going, like oh fuck, every single time you're getting in this car, you're literally risking your life. And they're all like yeah. these fucking like good looking fucking cool as shit dudes yeah. with like four honeys behind them yeah. holding their fucking sunglasses. Yeah, they're pretty badass, man. It's a it's a cool experience. Sig- me and Segura went to the Austin NASCAR race mm-hmm. uh, back in March. Okay, and he hooked up the. The full package, sure. you know, the I'm very famous package. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we were, like the, to Tommy uh, Buns. we were in the owner's box. Yeah, what up, Tom? And um, that that type of access was excellent. But, you know, Texas, even Austin, really has some, uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. goods to share. Yeah. If you want to take it to the next level from that even, there's a, a race called the 12 Hours of Sebring. It's an endurance race, 12 okay. hours long. And... There's, it's a road course, so it turns left and right, you know, and uh, it's in Sebring, Florida, which, oof, oh boy. Shout out there to we Florida, go. baby. <laughs> and the infield is all the corporate sponsors and the private jet folks mm-hmm. and the engineers and the drivers. And then the, the outside of the circuit is Chaos. Mad huh. Max. Oh, I always I thought it was it. reverse. The infield was for the... Uh, for the common folk, no. Uh, well, it, at somewhere like Indy, that may be the case. <laughs> yeah, but at, at the, we, had Bri- we were rocking Sebring, a Brian it's, Adams it's, the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's a full blown EDM rave happening yeah. inside <laughs> the infield so during the race. The race. It's There's crazy. That are there that don't even that know don't the even, race? Yeah. yeah, it's so cool. It's yeah. it's a yeah, it was it's so like much the fun, largest man. sport. It's the largest attended sports event in the yeah, in the like, world. It's I like think like half a million people. Yeah, and what I didn't I didn't realize that. That there was seating on the inside of the track and the outside. Yeah, and like it looks like to me, you know, because I didn't know much about it, it looked like Speed Racer. Yeah, like it was so futuristic. Like how many? Like you look down the straightaway and then it curves, and there's mm-hmm. just like fifty thousand people. Yeah, just all in and the fuck. It was awesome. Last night I went to see Ed Sheeran. Oh, okay. uh, nice. At SoFi at the the football, the brand new football stadium, mm-hmm. and and I'd never been there before. And you know, this stadium. It's d- dug into the ground. Oh, I didn't know that. Because the LAX landing wow. uh, uh, mm, path was right above it, so it had to be lower. So it That's looks cool. huge from outside, but then you get in and it goes six stories down. That's nuts. And my buddy Drew, shout out to Drew, works as like a high up executive at SoFi, not the stadium, the, like the, the fucking company, financial yeah. company. So he's like, yeah, I got I got box seats. So you show up and it's like, o- owner's suite, and we were in. The, the owner of SoFi's box. That's awesome. And speaking of, like, re- you ever have, like, something that's so classy that it makes you deeply uncomfortable? Yeah. The house we're staying in out here is that way. Really? Yeah. We can't figure out how to work the microwave or the stove. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Dude, we're like, dude, it's all God. four of us were standing around and go, how poor are we? Oh, is it yeah. all induction stuff? Yeah. That's yeah. probably why. It's nuts. So they wouldn't let me pour my own drinks. There was a butler, mm. and I went to go pour a tequila and soda, and he comes over like, no, no, no. And I go, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 what? Yeah, is this yeah. someone's shit? Goes, no. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Goes, That's your I got fun. money, man. He goes, you can't make your own drink. I go, what do you mean? He goes, the owner forbids it. And I wow. go, oh, okay, is he here? And he goes, no, no, no. Just but can't. he's always watching. And I go, oh, oh fucking shit. Day, Ken. Shit. Shout out to Ken. I was like, all right, man, you yeah. made your drink. You're but over there shaking the margarita. <laughs> Halfway to the concert, the blender goes Dude, on. Dude, I got stopped like by this guy. It was nuts. That's, That's awesome. crazy. But, it's, but same kind of thing. It's it's so it's it's like 
ancient fucking Rome. It's yeah. a wall of people. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Ed fucking Sheeran, I'm not a huge fan. Rocks I'm not, probably not a fan. fucking kills it, dude. 81,000 oh, people yeah. at a football stadium. He's in the round. Love it. With a, just a guitar. Mm -hmm. It's just him. Wow. Yeah. Imagine playing an acoustic guitar to 81,000 fucking yeah. people. I was, dude, I, I, that guy catches shit. I love him. I mean, ultimately, it was great. Yeah. And I, I could probably could have told you three Ed Sheeran songs before. It turns out I knew about half that's of them. The, yeah, that's go. the thing. You're like, oh, this is him. This is him. I yeah. know this. Yeah. And about halfway through the show, he goes, all right, now uh, here's the part of the show uh, your grandmother knows and starts <laughs> yeah. playing like every radio. That's hit. great. It was amazing. But yeah, like just <laughs> I felt like I was in a sci-fi movie sure. or something. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah, it's exactly the same way in, yeah. in India. It was it was wild. Um, are you guys are you guys it's are you guys on a cr time crunch? Are you chilling? Not you crazy. Right? What time is it? One fifteen. Oh yeah, we yeah we have you got some a time. few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Of I don't I don't I know you got no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you got shows to do, but we got the Patreon to satisfy. Of nice. course, the best baby. Website I in respect the world. it. You want to ask us questions on the show? You want access to the live stream? You want a bonus episode every month? And you want an ad free listening experience? Patreon.com. That's right. The Smoke and Tire Podcast, and of course. Patreon.com slash are you garbage for the other side of the table. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, did you edit some of these down? Yeah. Okay, cool, great. Uh, so uh, Chappie says, uh, <laughs> is it garbage for your buddy to borrow your bench front seat car for a date and then quote use the seat? Oh. <laughs> nice uh, foresight to ask. Though. Yeah, that's not, not a lot of bench that. seat cars left around. <laughs> yeah, my friend Mike lost his virginity like this in my car. Oh, at wow, a, at like a dance function thing and uh he's like hey can i take your car i'm gonna go to the, the cliffs with this chick and i was like okay and then he also he didn't mention he had taken ecstasy when he left and uh -huh. he's like and he told me later he's like it kicked in on the drive back that was really <laughs> difficult <laughs> and i had a 65 pontiac i was like you're out of your mind oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. talk about a mix of old and new taking, yeah. her, taking her up to the point to make out with her <laughs> while on ecstasy. while dropping molly yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Prashan says, it's garbage if you bought your friend's unused CPAP machine oh and learn to set the pressure yourself instead of getting a prescription. Shout out to it. I yeah. thought about doing that <laughs> before before I was able to, to get insurance to play ball. You CVS or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to use my dad's, my dad's old one. Oh, no. That was definitely used. Didn't you get sick from not cleaning it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Life lesson. Man. I let it go for a while. Life you lesson. In Panama? Man. Was it like flood damage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poor coffee, you're in there. You're good to go. Uh, Dustin Height says, besides smoking with the windows up, what act while driving is a dead giveaway that someone is garbage? Huh. I think ripping a fart. Openly. With the windows up yeah, and openly. other people in there. Yeah. Unless you're doing it for, for sport, for fun, <laughs> which I don't hate. For points. Yeah. Smoking with the windows up is fucking hard. It's nuts. It's crazy. That, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you... As a kid, I don't know if your parents smoked. Our generations, yeah, the people just did that. Yeah, that was it. I remember just put the window up. You're gonna get you're gonna catch a draft. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna get sick. You're gonna catch cold. Yeah. I remember being in the back of my parents. Uh, I think it was a, the old wood panel jeeps back in the 70s and 80s, whatever they were. Yeah, the wagoneers. The wagoneer. Yeah. Uh, no car seat, seatbelt on, snow outside. Windows up, heat blasting, and my mom just crushing a heater. <laughs> just crushing heaters. Mm -hmm. And they were like, my, my buddy in high school used to smoke more 120s. Ooh, Remember okay. them? No. They're about this yeah. fucking Jesus long. Christ. They're, yeah, they're, it's like a pencil. Yeah, it's, they're not good. Man. It was like the CVS brand of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Yikes. And windows closed. Fuck multiple, it. multiple people smoking in the car, too, is crazy Ooh. with the windows up. But, like, at the same time, hotboxing. Totally accept. Oh yeah. yeah, to encourage. Yeah, it's just like that's a that's a did monetary do, decision. Did you ever do like hot box solo blunts? No, no. We, we had a couple of them where you have five Jeez. up in the fucking car <laughs> oh solo God. blunts. <laughs> Oof. That's just going for the effect that when you pull up to the party and the, was, you get out and the, every little smoke for the full Spicoli. Yeah, 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 the Aerosmith. Yeah. 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 Uh, Let's see. Ranger Danger says, how long is too long to warm up your car before it becomes garbage? That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know with new, I mean, older cars and, what is, yeah, I don't know. New cars there is nothing better, though. Then what? Just letting the car. I mean, you know, you, you know we're, we're, the weather's nice out here, but in the wintertime. Oh, yeah. When somebody would go out and warm the car up. Sure. And mm -hmm. then you went back inside, maybe had a coffee or whatever it was, and you came out. Man, that well, really Grand made Cherokee's a difference. Well, the Grand Cherokee's got remote start, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, do the, we do the opposite here. 
I remote start to cool the car. To cool it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice, too. Which I, I feel newer cars heat up way quicker and cool down way quicker. Yeah, yeah. Then, the, like, what the... I used yeah. to have to warm up my... Lumina, and it would be like yeah. you could well, you could drive for twenty. Forever. You could get in and drive yeah. for twenty minutes, yeah. and it still wouldn't be blowing. Modern heat. cars have like electronic yeah, thermostat. It's, yeah, it's like, like seconds for that. But you yeah. know why? Because when the cars actually this is nerdy shit, but when the car is in its warm up phase, mm-hmm. the emissions are way worse. Uh, so they figured out how to make the car get up to temperature quicker. Yeah, it makes the catalytic converters work better. Gotcha. Huh. So actually, the the reason they tell you you shouldn't warm up your car is because it's like bad for the environment. Gotcha. Yeah, but it's toasty on the piggies. When it's all cozy in there. Uh, Greg H uh, wants a. Uh, oh yeah, is it garbage to have bumper or window stickers on cars? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think it is real. And on ads that I he really hates the uh, Instagram handle ones. That yeah. is exceptional garbage. Yes, that's if wild. You're, if you're, it's very California. Really? You, they they mm-hmm. put. They, yeah, they put their because the- like. These people's whole identity is wrapped up in their car. Sure. And they put the fucking Instagram handle. They got a nice car? Like a cool, like, oh, like a, a, mo- a modified, um, yeah, okay. something souped yeah, something up a little custom, bit. Yeah. But it's like, again, like everything else with your show, totally independent of. I've seen it on ship boxes, I've seen it on nice modified cars. Mustangs. Lambos, that's nuts. Ferraris with the Instagram. And is handle? it their personal, Garbage. or is it more of like a car, like a page for the car, or a sometimes combination of both? Bo- sometimes yeah. both. Sometimes okay. both. I also, a, if you have a page for your car, that's garbage. Why. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a big one that we, uh, a big car one. Have you ever taken it? I guess you guys, it's a little different. Have you ever taken a picture in front of someone else's car? That's a dead <laughs> giveaway. I, if you're really walking down the street <laughs> and you see a Lambo and you're like, "Yo, get me!" <laughs> yeah, I, it's definitely happened. To, to, to us, to yeah. us. Sure. sure, yeah. yeah, yeah How yeah. do you handle that? I let them. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, as I long was as in, they don't like sit on the fucking hood. Sure, I start was in making Italy out. And uh, on a Ferrari press launch, and this guy walked up, and he's like, and he said in broken English, basically, "Can I sit in the car for a picture?" And I was like, "For sure." And I took his phone, but I took the key out yeah. to make sure he didn't drive away. <laughs> 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 Later, <laughs> nerd. He had his hand on the wheel, like, like as if he was driving, yeah. and then he uh-huh. walked away. Yeah. That's awesome. I used to own a DeLorean. Nice. Whoa. And that is the number one car. That, that would have been my want, dream car. Want a picture with. When I was a kid, that yeah. would have been my dream car. And it's the it's the best car to take to a bar. <laughs> Assuming you're not going to drive home drunk. Gotcha. Fucking a guy driving a DeLorean is funny, nostalgic, kind of quirky. He's got a story. He's got a jumping off point. Style. Yeah. yeah. Women loved it. You know Absolutely. he likes to party, too. Yeah. He's driving a DeLorean. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you real quick, since you guys are experts on this. What's the... Uh, the opinion on wraps is is wrapping trashy or classy? Getting um, a car wrapped. It depends on the color of the wrap. Okay. Because there's wraps that really look a lot like paint. Uh huh. And they're high quality, and you might just want to either change the color or or whatever, sort of protect the car. It protects the paint a little bit. Ah, okay. Um, and it's way cheaper than painting the car. Okay. And so for some cars, like a collectible car, there's value in a car having original paint. So if you buy a car that maybe you don't love the color. But you want to keep it original, you can make it any color you want and then just take three off years the later wrap. take the wrap off. Gotcha. On All the right. other hand, like chrome wraps. Okay. Super garbage. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What do you All think right. doing? Why? What no, are, nothing. Are, I was, your I, I was just it? curious what experts thought on stuff like that. But like, for instance, like Teslas are the most wrapped cars because Tesla charges money for every color that's not white. Hmm. Like you want a red Tesla, it's like five grand. Really? So, yeah, so you might as well buy the white one and, wrap and then it. wrap it any color you want for that same five grand. Okay. And then when you go to sell it, you peel it off. You and got a paint brand it. new. Paint's yeah. pretty good under there. Okay. Yeah. What I do hmm. on my cars is the clear film protects the, it's the paint protection film. Ah. So you can't see it, but it's just, it's a clear wrap. It's got real undercoating vibes. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not half bad. Is it garbage to float a check to pay a car note? What's flow to check? Like, uh, I post think it, dated, I think pre- post, post dated. I yeah, I'll cash that till Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man, this well, is what you gotta do. You gotta get to work, baby. That. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> you fucking do that shit. That's a small town bank. You want to talk about a L.A. <laughs> Jerry? It's me. Here's some real a real L.A. thing. As I met a guy out this weekend who who is a pawnbroker. He doesn't call it that. He calls it. I'm not going to say the name of it, but he calls it Asset Capital Management. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. That's, that's got this right. scumbag. Yeah. Not scum, but that's, that's sleazy. Yeah. I that's like awesome. it. So this guy's basically, he's a pawnbroker for cars. So if you've gotcha. got a collector car of some kind and you need cash, but you don't want to sell the car. Go sit. He'll, he'll hold it. He'll hold it. And oh. he doesn't just hold the title. He holds the car. 
And huh. Yeah. He holds Does he drive around with it? No, no, no. Does he hold the title as well? From, yeah. It gets flatbedded Whoa. to a place like mine where it sits safe and undriven. Come huh. back with until, the payments. Until you make the payments. And if not, he's got the car. Correct. Whoa. I love that. that and, the, and the cars, that this, the most L.A. shit ever, this guy's not moving Hondas. This yeah. guy's moving yeah. Ferraris and Porsches and Lambos and shit like That's that. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty very yeah. smart. <laughs> got the title very too. This guy, nice. this guy was wearing a hundred and fifty thousand dollar watch when I was sure. This yeah. Yeah. It's probably yeah. some some other guy's watch. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. I do yeah. asset management and Elvis Presley memorabilia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OJ did that too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rich B said, "Is it garbage when there's snow and you dig out the spot for two hours and put something in the spot to claim that's dip? very Philly, Philly shit? That's yeah. very, very Philly. Philly, New York too. Yeah, yeah. I respect yeah. it." Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you ever I put mean, a cone or something. Cone something or folding not, chairs. Something folding say, something chairs. Something not yeah. a car there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that an understood system there? Like if you do that, people don't get mad. They're like, ah, you got it. Well, there's yeah. people. People overstep, and and there's fights and arguments in New York. I can say. In like the boroughs, when like in like Brooklyn or Queens, yeah, but you have to be there has like to be a, a community on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. residential oh, that's street. Bills, that's Tammy's. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. but you Philly, can't be doing it on like Fifth Avenue or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that. Philly's yeah. a tough parking city. Oh, it's yes. brutal. Yeah. If you did that in Philly, if you were in like South Philadelphia and you pulled into somebody's spot, th that would be a, a problem. <laughs> yeah, like, it would be yeah, a problem. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if it was somebody's grandmother's spot. Yeah. And they lived either in the house of the grandmother or down the street. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Will Smith had to move to Beverly Hills, right? That's, That's how the whole right. thing <laughs> Put a chair out there. Yeah. <laughs> they left it out of the song, in unfortunately. West Philadelphia. That's yeah. good. God, I fucking miss Philly. But I'll tell you what, listening to your show. Takes me fucking back. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man. We I catch really that a lot of, like, people are like, yeah, I live in Florida now or Arizona or whatever, yeah. but my family's from there. It reminds me of my uncles, my friends growing yeah. up. And yeah. just the Northeast in general. Everybody yeah, from yeah. Boston down down to Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, similar vibes. Yeah, very similar vibes. Yeah. But something about the sensibility of that city is... Mm -hmm. uh, I love it, man. It produces really funny people. Yeah. It's a good place. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like the Philly and the surrounding areas, there's such a premium on a sense of humor mm -hmm. it's like the funniest guy telling stories at the party the yeah. funny you know who's the quickest who can break the balls the most yeah. you know yeah the yeah, funny yeah. aunts the funny uncles yeah yeah and i'm not surprised I, you, I think you said before you sold the most tickets on the stay trashy tour in, in philly, philly yeah, yeah of course yeah. yeah that's you're gonna go fucking hard out there yeah. yeah we're excited yeah well the show is great what uh zach can you pull up the uh the schedule for uh the stay trashy tour is rolling oh, on. Oh, look at those guys. Look at that photo, huh? <laughs> what do we got? San Diego uh, this weekend. I actually had tickets to the San Diego. I gave them to my friend because... Uh I was what are you to be doing buying tickets? Yeah, Hit me just, up. You, we support. We hate that. I we know. Support. Well, no, we hate it. Well, next tour. <laughs> you He's gonna want VIP I didn't know you in guy. person before. I'm not. I don't What's ask that, people. No, I, don't I want the person. SoFi suite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, dude. My homie was like, "Hey, listen. There's always a couple of availabilities." I was like, "Honey, look at the fucking rest of the year <laughs> sure, schedule. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. It's we're calling, some out. calling this one in. Next time, I'll call you for tickets. I'll ask you to support this time, but." Lots of California, Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, Sacramento. Sacramento is California's Philly. Yeah, is it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever we been to wait. Sacramento. It's our. There's good people up there. Uh, it, it doesn't get talked about enough, but it's definitely California. I got cousins up there that are coming to the show. That's Love where I'm that. going tomorrow. Oh, nice. That's oh why yeah, that's you, right. We swear. We swear. They had around. no problem hitting me up for for tickets <laughs> <laughs> and a hotel room. Yeah. When you when we were originally going to do the show tomorrow, uh -huh. I was going to go straight to the airport and go to Sacramento. I remember. Yeah. For that's a why you're like. We nice. can't push yeah. it. Yeah, so we I'm did up today. there for a fucking week. Oh, there you go. And not out. I'm, I'm an hour north of Sacramento. Yeah. I'm going to be in Willows, oh. which whoa, doesn't Willows sound County. great. There is one of the best racetracks in the country and nothing fucking else. <laughs> That's all you need, baby. <laughs> That's all I need. Road and track <laughs> performance car of the year. So anyway, go to areyougarbage.com. Uh, get tickets to the live shows. They're going fucking everywhere. What are you, are you guys going home in between shows? He's on the road this whole time. We're, no, we're yeah, we're we're here until uh, we're, we're in California until yeah. Thursday. We fly back and then we're chilling uh, till the middle of the month, and then we're doing uh, Bert's cruise. Oh shit! Yeah, we're, we're doing, doing the cruise. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Where is the cruise going? From Miami to the Bahamas. Bahamas. Oh my God, everyone's and then back. gonna get COVID. <laughs> 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 Don't say that. 
<laughs> Get your booster, yo. Yeah. And then we come back. Bert's and then a we... fucking maniac. Oh, Bert's dude. the man. Yeah. Him and Tom have been so cool and are just they're two the of the best. best. They're they're the, the greatest people. And yeah. when we went to Arizona to see Bert's show, he fucking sold out of stadiums. Dude, guys no tickets. He was so great to us, just introducing us to mm, everybody the backstage. Just coolest the, guy. The fucking coolest. Man. Every, every, everything you see is everything that he is. It's awesome. Yeah. Both of them are yeah. just unbelievable. The best people. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for giving Buddy, us an thank hour. Thank you. Are you kidding me? And uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk, but I'd love to do the expansion pack and give you guys some free money for the IP. <laughs> there you Who go. don't love uh, free money? <laughs> Who don't love free money? You've got to do nothing over here. You'll have to talk to our asset negotiator <laughs> associate, <laughs> who I believe you met last night. <laughs> put the, when I make the payments, I can get the IP back. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Car, you garbage on the smoking tire. Thank you to our patrons thank for you, asking buddy. us thank you guys. Uh, fun questions today. Thank you to Kevin and fucking Foley for coming to see us. Thank you, guys. Thank and, you, brother. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.